Hello again, everybody! Zaki Tech is here with the attack line for Thursday, January 5th, 2012. I'm a little late. Went out to eat. That's why I'm a little late to making this. So here we go, starting off with VH Van Halen update. Now, the bad news and the good news. The bad news is, despite reports and rumors, Van Halen will not be announcing their tour dates today. However, we got a lot of news on them anyway. Van Halen, as I speak, is doing their private show in New York City's Cafe Wah. I heard they were streaming, but it's not working. And I heard David Lee Roth named the album title. It's called A Different Kind of Truth. So there you go. That's what I'm hearing that the album is called Different Kind of Truth. And the new single, which will be released next week, is called Tattoo. I am hearing they're going to make a press release of tour dates probably tomorrow. I'm also hearing rumors about the tour starting in February in Kentucky. Like means there's a big chance of a Michigan show. And I was on the way home from my eating out. I went to a place called American Pie, a pizza buffet place. Which is a very good, better than CC's. If you CC's or American Pie, American Pie is better. Uh, heard a lot of Van Halen on the radio. And everyone's, talk, everyone's got Van Halen fever. You talk about Bieber fever. Everyone's got Van Halen fever. I being one of those people. So, can I wait to hear a lot about VH? I want to see a lot of stuff. Of course, a lot of people probably reporting about the show tonight, tomorrow. So, I'll keep you updated on the Van Halen situation. Hopefully, find out tour dates. Probably tomorrow. Congratulations are in order to just Dan Timberlake. Just Timberlake's about to turn 31 in a couple of weeks. He gets an early birthday gift and a late Christmas gift. Engaged to Jessica Beale. According to people and us, after a long off again on again relationship, they got a ring. He reportedly engaged to her, I think, New Year's Eve or New Year's Day, I think. And even Justin Timberlake's grand grandma reveals that, yes, it is official. He is engaged to Jessica Biel. They've been dating for so many years, on again, off again. Congrats to them, and Justin's finally settling down. There's been rumors about the parents of Gage have been spreading since they were in after a five-year, five-month break. Rumors was that was until... Justin's grandma got chanting and said he called me on Christmas day and told me he's engaged. Didn't want to tell tell anybody until after the holidays. Justin's grandma also says they don't know if the wedding would be in Memphis or Colorado because Justin's from Tennessee. It's all very new. They haven't made any plans yet. Justin, his mom and dad, and Jessica have all been in Montana all Christmas and New Year's. That's when he proposed. Jessica will be a loving member of the family, Justin's grandma adds. And then she's a very sweet girl. So at least Justin's family approves of the engagement. So we can't wait to hear more about it. Congratulations to Justin Timberlake and Jessica Biel. Good luck in the wedding. And please do not have a 72-day wedding or a two-week wedding. Well, at least Janelle Connor and her husband got back together, I'm hearing. Now, on to a uh, little TV news before the TNA. Modern Family returned last night. The Black Mouse episode. Great way to come back. You know, I know it was a decent episode last night. No, a great, kind of a modest way to come back, but it's still brilliant comeback from Modern Family. Great, great funny moments. Yeah, like, the worst arc, the worst segment of the show was probably Cam and Mitchell's thing were arguing about the trophies. The best was probably the whole Phil and Gloria and everybody tied it together. And also, uh, Jay. Hanging up with Manny and many stat, his real dad, because Jay's a stepdad, played by Benjamin Pratt. Thought he played a very good character. I thought it was a very decent episode of Mountain Family. Can't wait to see more next week. And next Sunday, they're going up for the Golden Globe. Hopefully, they'll beat Glee. Well, many people be watching the Jersey Horse. I'll be Jersey Shore tonight. I don't give a fuck. I'm going to watch that quick. I watch wrestling. Tonight is TNA Impact Wrestling, the first TNA of the year. The last one before Genesis. 
Am I right? Yeah, they changed the pay-per-views around. So, top five questions that must be answered tonight. Question number five. What will happen at Knockouts Tag? Where we got Gil Kim, Gil Kim teaming up with Madison Rain, defending their Knockout Tag Team Championships. They'll be defending against Tracy Brooks and Mickey James. We saw last week Mickey James and Gil Kim wrestled a surprisingly great Impact main event last week. Despite interference from Madison Rain, I applaud those two, Gail and Matt and Mickey, put on a great matchup, proving that women's wrestling is still legit, especially in TNA. And that there's true women wrestlers left in this world. They are not in WWE. So, I bet they don't cheat or something. Madison and Gale always cheat or something. So, I bet you Gale and Madison will retain the titles by some sort of cheating way. But we'll see what happens. Question number four. What will go down the Wild Card Tag Team Tournament Finals? Now, tonight we're going to find out who will be the team to face off against Crimson and Morgan, Matt Morgan, this Sunday at the pay-per-view for the titles. It'll be some more Joe Magnus to take on Kazarian and AJ Styles. Now, to be perfectly honest, I say Magnus and Joe, because one, they're a bad guy team. Two, Joe hates both Crimson and Morgan. He had feuds with both of them in the last couple months. And Joe needs something to do, so I bet you that'd be a great way to restart their feud by having Joe and Magnus feud for the tag titles. But if AJ or Kaz win, I'll be fine with that too. But I'm guessing Magnus and Joe will win it. Question number three. Actually, there is no question number three. Well, well there is. Yes. Yes, trying to think of it. Question number three. Will any last minute matches be made for Genesis? Probably not. No last minute matches before Sunday, probably. Question number two. What will Sting do tonight? Sting probably control matches and whatever. And number one question must be answered tonight. What will happen in a huge six man tag? Now we got Genesis opponents against each other in a six man tag. As Bobby Wood, the TNA World Champion, teams up with Kurt Angle and Billy Ray to face off against their respective. Genesis opponents, Jeff Hardy, who's wrestling mood for the TNA title Sunday, James Storm, who's fighting Kurt Angle Sunday, and Abyss, who's fighting Bully Ray in a Monsters Ball on Sunday at Genesis. This would be a great way to excite some people about Genesis, especially with a lot of feuds built in. You know, a Storm and Angle feud, Rude Hardy feud, Abyss and Bully Ray. Expect people to be scared, like if Bully Ray gets tagged in against Abyss. He may tag somebody. Same thing with Bobby Wood. If he's in the ring with Hardy, he may fast tag somebody. So they'll try to. Everyone will try to avoid their opponent as much as possible. And they'll get in there when they're down. So we'll see what happens in six man tag. Got a lot of intrigue heading into Genesis. But indeed, what will happen with the final impact before Genesis? First impact of the year, 2012. We'll find out tonight. At 9 in Central on Spike TV. That is it for my attack line. See you all later for my TNA review. With that, my minute to act by the news from Zach. Thank you very much. See you later. Happy Thursday to you. Yeah. Almost weekend. First weekend of the new year. Almost here. Yeah.